Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am like so excited and I can't stop smiling like my cheeks actually hurt right now. I am going to be talking about and reviewing the new palette from Adept Cosmetics with Heather Austin. So Heather and I started talking, I want to say it was maybe about a year ago. So Samantha March came out with her second collab with Ofra, which was Life's a Draft. And for the kickoff for that, they had a video call where we all made like little terrariums and stuff. And Heather was on that call. And I have to admit, when I saw her, I was fangirling a little bit because I've loved her videos for a very long time. And after that call, we both kind of messaged each other and we were just like chatting a little bit. And she was like, do you have Marco Polo? And I was like, uh, yeah, I have Marco Polo. Since that day, I don't think there's been maybe five days where we haven't talked. We talk all the time on Marco Polo and I genuinely at this point consider her to be a friend of mine. She is such a good soul. And I know that she has been working on this for so long. I am so happy for her. I am so proud of her because this is what she wanted it to be. I know that, you know, she had went back and forth on certain colors and she was showing me a couple iterations throughout the year. And just to know how much love that she put into this, I just, I, I couldn't be happier for her. I couldn't be more proud of her. Now I will say I've never tried anything by Adept Cosmetics. This is my very first time. I know they are a cruelty-free brand. They are an indie brand. I'm just, I'm so, so excited to show you this. So we are going to look over the palette. We're going to look at swatches. We're going to look at a few dupes, if you can call them that. And then I'm going to do a first look. I haven't put this on my face yet. And I'll give you my first impressions. But if this is your first time to my channel, hi, my name is Linda. I'm a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber and I always wanna help you decide whether or not makeup, skincare, hair care products are worth your money, whether they're luxury priced or drugstore priced. I just want you to spend your money wisely. Also, this is my very first low buy year. So I'm trying to be really thoughtful about what I bring into my collection this year and try to make sure that what I bring in is unique to my collection, but also to use the good stuff that I already have instead of saving it for some magical special occasion, just use the good stuff. So if that's something you're into, and as you're watching this video, I would love if you hit the subscribe button, become a part of the Rockstar fam. Let's jump right into this palette. The very first thing I wanna talk about, and I don't normally usually talk about this, but I feel like I need to, is the packaging. When I say the packaging, I don't mean the outside packaging, we'll chat about that but I mean the packaging, how it arrived to me. For the packaging, it came in a pretty large size box, which I appreciate because you know that means there's padding and protection in there. But this is what I thought was interesting, that they have these stickers, please handle with care, glass, thank you. And I was like, glass? Is there something extra in here? Because I will let you know, I did receive this in PR from the company. Um, and I was like, maybe there's like a little some, something extra, a little tchotchke or something. And I opened it up and no, there's just the palette inside. And I was like, why would it say glass on the outside? And then I was like, I have heard horror stories that when people write fragile on a box, that means it's basically a target for like UPS and FedEx drivers to just like kick it down the street. And sometimes they make a game out of it. Now, look, I don't have any firsthand experience of this. These are just rumors I've heard, but no one wants to deal with broken glass. Am I right? So I feel like this is genius because this package will be handled with care. This makes me want to buy a thousand of these stickers myself for when I ship out packages. Genius. So then inside we had a ton of bubble wrap and we had some additional paper. And then you have the box that the palette comes in. When you open this box, there is another protective layer of cardboard with this styrofoam doohickey in it where the palette sits here and then this sits on top. Just basically what I'm trying to say is that the level of protection is amazing. So this is going to get to you in one piece, which is a good thing because we're going to want to chat about the shadows in a bit, but I just really appreciate that. Now let's talk about the actual palette itself. So first, the packaging is beautiful. It's this mauve purple fake leather uh, packaging with a beautiful stitching. I don't know why I love that. And embossed is Heather Austin. And the first thought I had when I saw this, as gorgeous as it is, is it reminds me of a much higher end palette that I have. This one has lots of fingerprints, so we're gonna ignore that. But again, we've got that kind of faux leather cover. We've got the beautiful stitching and then we've got the embossed name down here. So I think that that's kind of cool that, you know, a, a brand that's quite affordable, more affordable than Natasha Denona might be, has kind of this really luxe packaging. So I really like that. And then you open up the palette. So we have 12 shades here. We have four mattes and the rest are shimmers and multi-chromes. 
And I was kind of blown away by this because I don't have anything like this in my collection where there are these intense, foiled, sparkly, multi-chromes and they are just so beautiful and unique to my collection personally. I just think that they're absolutely stunning and I think that this is such an interesting color story too, right? Because you've got these deep purples. You do definitely have this kind of purple vibe. We have four purpley tones, but then you've got this kind of swampy green, which ugh, my favorite color in the world is this like swampy, dirty kind of green, yellow color. I just, I just think this is so interesting of a color story. And I looked at this and I was like, this is unlike anything I've seen and it inspires me, which is what I'm really looking for in my low by year personally is stuff that inspires me. And this is doing the trick. So the first thing I wanna do is show you some swatches. I'm gonna show you in my studio lighting here, but I'm also gonna take them outside. It's a little bit of a cloudier day and I've already actually done the swatches, which is why my palette looks like it's been dug into because it has. And um, yeah, let's get into the swatches. So here is something I learned from the swatches. First of all, every single shade went on beautifully and smoothly. What I found is interesting is I noticed that sometimes with swatches, I have to go like this to get them to look even, to show their full opacity. Nope, when I put my finger in and then went like this, we got full opacity, we got full sparkle, we got full shimmer. I don't even anticipate needing like a glitter glue with these. I'm gonna use some setting spray when I try it on my eyes, but I don't even know if you need it. So these were, again, unlike anything I've ever touched, the shadows were very soft. So just be careful with that because there were a few shadows, namely 0603 and Austin, where I dug my finger in a little bit too hard and that was my fault. You don't need a whole lot of pressure on these, but at the same time, they don't feel like they're gonna fall out of the palette, which is really cool because I have some other shadows, like for example, my very first Gemini palette from Melt, those shimmers just like crumbled and fell out of the palette. These don't feel like they're gonna do that. They feel very emollient, they feel very smooth, and they go on beautifully. On top of that, the shift from these colors, I just, I can't even fathom how hard they worked on this to get these shifts. For example, can you see this shade Passport? It is so metallic, first of all, but at the same time, you can see how it goes, like there it's almost like pinky gold, and then it's almost like white silver. There it almost has like an orangey tone. It's very purple on the finger. There it's like a white gold. It's intense and Austin, which again is the shade that I touched a little too hard last time, so I wanna be very gentle. This shade is insane. This is like white to gold to green to blue. It's just so many different colors. I'm gonna do one more because this shade is probably my favorite in the palette. This is Smith. It is it looks like gold right now, but you get these green shifts. There you go, there you go. This like olive green shift and it is so smooth. It's almost like scarab colored where it's like green and blue and gold. They're just, they, I've never had metallics like this personally. And I'm just, I'm so, so impressed. I wanna put this on my face right now, but we have one more thing to get into. So as I always try to do with videos when I have new eyeshadow products, I wanted to compare these to what's already in my collection. So I was able to compare 
a bunch of these shades, but as you can see from kind of the whole arm of shades that I was able to compare, none of them are exactly the same. There are some that are slightly similar, but none of them are exactly the same. So this palette will be unique to my collection, but I was really surprised because when I looked at a few of these colors, I was like, oh, okay, well, I definitely have a dupe for that. And I definitely have a dupe for that. And none of them were actual dupes. I will say the palette that I used most for comparison wound up being the Odin's Eye and Aniela Kanikvist Hella palette. And they're just, I thought, I was like, oh, okay, you know, there's some definite like duochrome multi-chrome shimmers that are very similar they're not <laughs> they are not so i want to show you the shadows that i compared the first one i wanted to compare was passport so that is that beautiful purpley blue multi-chrome shift passport is in the middle here i usually do the main shade on the left but passport is in the middle and we have it surrounded by you're my only hope from the club nebula palette on the left and the JD Glow Cosmetics Good God color on the right. So these all kind of had a similar vibe in that they were purpley blue white shifting multi-chromes. But again, I think it's pretty obvious that they're all quite different. There is a significant gold sparkle in Passport that I really like and it's definitely unique. Next, I wanted to try Mythology. So that's that dirty yellow green that I love. And when I looked at that, that was the one where I was immediately like, I love this, but I know I have 10 like it in my collection. So I swatched it against Trappa from the It's Freakin' Bats palette, Underworld from the Hella palette, and Moki from the Gemini palette. I think it's pretty obvious that none of these are even close to each other, which is kind of cool because again, I thought I had this color exactly in my collection and it turns out, I don't have it at all. <laughs> then these two were just completely different, but on first glance, I thought they were gonna be similar. We have Magnolia from Heather's palette, swatched next to Ouroboros from the Hella palette. Quite different, as you can see, both very great, like amazing shadows, both pigmented, but not the same. Then we had two that I thought were gonna be really similar, and again, they weren't. So we had Video Chat from Heather's palette, swatched next to Oh Honey by JD Glow. And again, I just think, again, yes, there are similarities. Of course there are. These are, you know, bronzes with a bit of an orange base to them, but they're, they're definitely not the same. The two that I think are most similar in color only are 0603 from Heather's palette and River from the Hella palette, but they're similar in color. They are definitely not the same formula. River, I feel like, is a bit more of a sheerer base. It's good for putting on top. You definitely can use it by itself, but it's good for putting on top of other colors, whereas 0603 is more of an opaque, this is the color that you're going to use color, if that makes sense. All right, I have behaved enough. I have weighed in enough. It is time. I want to put this on my eyes. And here's the thing, like, I know I'm going to be doing multiple looks with this at some point, but as this is just going to be kind of a first impression, I want to be honest with you. I have to do it. I have to use like these greens right here. I have to use these three greens because they're so beautiful. And it's just like, that's my vibe. You guys know that's my vibe. You know, I love these greens. So we're going to get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's play the game. Do I have any clean brushes? No, I don't. Didn't even realize how bad my primer was creased. Okay, but we're cool now. So I wanna take a fluffy brush and I'm starting with Mythology. And again, I can't stress this enough. These shades, I don't know if you can see that kickback, they are softer. So use a very light touch with these, but this, I wanna put this in the crease. I'm gonna put it pretty high up though. This is just gonna be my very first transition shade. And I'm going in with a very light hand because I don't know how these are gonna behave. I keep saying it, but these colors, this like dirty green, oh, it's my absolute favorite color. Now I am going to kind of watch this color because I have used colors like this in the past. I think Trappa from Bats was one of them where it's not that it like changes color or something like that, but you see how it almost looks like I already have something in the crease itself and I don't, I just have the one color and I don't mind that, but it is something that I want to bring up if that ever occurs. So this is what I'm kind of referring to. You see how it's a little bit, it looks like darker there, right there. It's so strange. And I feel like it happens with this specific color a whole lot. This like chartreuse, dirtyish color, but I don't personally mind that, but I just want to let you know it. I mean, it almost makes it easier, right? Because you don't have to do as much work. So I'm pretty good with that. Now I want to go in with, hmm, do I want Magnolia or Atlas? I think I want Magnolia. So I'm just, again, going to tap this very lightly. You see how lightly I tapped? and we just have like full opacity there. Whew, that is a deep color. I'm gonna tap off the extra. Can always go in for more. 
and this is going to go right on the outer corner. This is pigmented. And I'm going to take that just a little bit into the crease. I'm going to go back in with the mythology just to kind of clean that up a little bit because I went a little crazy with that color. By the way, I just did a fallout check and I have none, which I'm really surprised at because this is super pigmented. All right, it's time for the showstopper. I'm going in with Smith and I think I'm just going to use my finger. Look at this. Like, I can't get over how shifty this shade is and it's just so smooth looking and oh, it's beautiful. This color, this is my favorite. Oh my God, that's so cool because the gold in the shade picks up the gold up here and it makes it this like super kind of dirty grungy eye. I'm just, I'm freaking in love with that. Oh wow, 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 wow. So I wanna take the tiniest bit of Magnolia and I'm just gonna run that under my eyes like right up along the lash line and I'm running the tiniest bit of mythology right under that. Smoke it out a little bit. All right, I'm gonna hop off camera real quick and I wanna finish up the eyes and I'll be right back. <laughs> I am so feeling myself in this look. This is my happy place and I'm sorry, I know that I have done a green grungy eye on this channel approximately nine million times, but makeup should be about what makes you feel good, right? And this makes me feel good. So here's the thing. I have used three shades in this palette for this eye look, okay? But having swatched all of these, having felt the quality, I think that this is a stunning palette. I really, really do. And the quality is really beautiful. Like I'm really impressed with Adept's quality because I've never used Adept before. I'm just, I'm impressed overall. I really am. This is just gorgeous and I'm so, incredibly proud of my friend Heather. Also, I don't think I said this, but a few extra facts. Number one, Heather's video where she talks about the palette itself and she talks about how she named all of the shades. Everything's gonna be linked down below. I want you to check out her video. And also, this is coming out on March 25th at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So set an alarm because I have a feeling this will sell out pretty quickly and this is going to be a limited edition palette, but if it sells out quickly, which again, I really think it's going to, then Adept has said that they will start a pre-order list for when they're able to restock. I wanna look at this shadow outside. I wanna take you outside with me so we can see the shiftiness because this is freaking insane. So forgive me, I'm sure the sound has changed because I'm on my phone now, but like, do you see how incredibly metallic and shifty this color is? It's just like, it's so beautiful. It's so many different colors and I applied this with my finger, with my finger. I just, okay, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Okay. So my first impressions on this palette, so far again, I'm just, I'm so impressed. I'm so, so impressed with the quality and the attention to detail in this palette. I am obsessed with this eye look. I'm freaking obsessed. And it's so funny because again, at first I was like, oh, there's a lot of kind of like pinky purples in there but I feel like you can grunge the hell out of this palette and I I am here for it. So again, this palette is gonna be $56. It's gonna be released on March 25th, 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And uh, again, congratulations to Heather. Congratulations to Adept. This is amazing and I'm, I'm so thankful to have received this. Let me know in the comments down below, is this something you're planning on picking up? If so, is this something that's unique to your collection or is it something that you just really want? Neither of those things are bad things. Um, yeah, that's it. So if you like this video, I would love if you give a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Those things really help out my channel. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all glitter fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars and I love you so much with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.